Hi everybody, it's Dr. Parmer. I just wanted to show you some updates, some things that I've just sent you in your Nika account. If you look at the announcement section, let's just get back to the full screen here. I'm going to go into student mode. Let me exit out of that. Well, the first thing that I just wanted to make clear, I have gone over this in class. The very beginning of the semester, I made this very clear. And any assignment that is turned in during class time that doesn't have your first and last name on it will be a zero. If you turn in anything without your name on it at all, it's a zero. So if you're in a group or team and you're doing a group or team assignment, and you don't put the group number on it, it's going to be a zero. When I'm grading the group activity, I grade by group number. So when you turn in an assignment and you have your names on it, I have no clue what group you're in, you know, at that point. Because I'm grading, my rubric is by group number. Um, so that's, that's one of the main reasons why. And also, I don't accept any late assignments. I, I do not accept any emailed assignments. Assignments are either submitted to me during class time or through NECA at the, at, the, at the designated due date and time. So I just wanted to make that very clear. Marketing plan groups have been revised a little bit. So I did go to the forum and I noticed that all of you except a couple of teams have gone ahead and posted your company that you're going to do the marketing plan on and that's great that is totally awesome y'all y'all are doing really good on that so I commend y'all for that however there have been a few revisions based on class enrollment when I was reviewing the teams and it happens every single semester I get all the teams created I give them to the students and there's always uh, you know people who dropped I heard they're not coming to class as well as other people and I mean that happens right I mean it's not it's out of my control it's out of your control but as the professor of the class I have to make a decision and the decision is instead of having a couple of teams having only two people in it while other teams had a lot more students in there working on this marketing plan I have made some revisions so there's no longer a team two or a team four and you know just to be clear my, my syllabus does state that at any time there could be changes done to unforeseen circumstances so that's pretty typical um, on a syllabus and these things do happen as, as as bad as none of us want them to it does over a course of four months something happens like that and so as the classroom manager myself then I've made some changes so I do appreciate your flexibility in this and your understanding and, and, and empathy and, and everything that you have to to understand the direction that I'm going with this so Again, instead of having a couple of teams down to only two people or one person, I've made a few revisions. So you want to check this now. Make sure your name is A on this list. And then make sure that you know what group you are in now if it has changed. If it has changed, you're gonna your other team members are they're gonna know too because they're gonna who they're gonna be looking at their group and going, Well, we got a new person. So it's not like they won't know, they will know. So you need to communicate with them and let them know, hey, this is my cell phone number, my email, this is how you can get in touch with me. Uh, how do you, how should we approach this? Are we going to divide it up in parts? We're going to meet on a regular basis. How are we going to do it? So, all right. So there's that. So let's go back to the other things I've uploaded for you too. These are individual group and presentation dates this serves as your official notice so I may not constantly remind you every time I see you that's not really I'm not that's that's I don't feel like that's what I should have to do I feel like if I've given you this information whether I gave it to you on the first day of class or whenever if it's been a couple months ago or whatever I feel like you've been notified <laughs> you know you've been forewarned so it's up to you to keep track of it and things like that so you know don't just don't ex 
think that, oh, okay, she's going to remind us every class, you know, what we got to do. No, not necessarily. But there were so many people getting back to, there were so many people who did not turn in their first assignment. And look here. Look at all this stuff I had for y'all. Screencast on assignment one. What makes an ad go viral? February 10th. Assignment one with Poplet. What makes an ad go viral? February 18th. I mean, so I'm telling you. So, I mean, my thing is don't get mad at me if you're not doing your work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm giving you, I'm telling you as hard as I can tell you what my expectations are and what you need to do and when you need to turn things in. And if you forget or if you get busy or if I hope you don't just choose not to do it, but if, whatever the case may be, you've got to own that. You've got to look in the mirror and own that and say, okay, I dropped the ball. Not Dr. Palmer, but I did. So just, you know, just wanted to put that out there. But here you have individual group and group presentation dates. So it's very, very clear. You do have a special topics assignment that you're going to do, and I would like for you to do it in a Prezi presentation. It's a free software program. You can do totally online. You may not be that familiar with it. I, I myself, I'm not a Prezi expert, but I do know that I have a lot more experience in PowerPoint. But I do know a lot of organizations are expecting some Prezi skills, so I want you to kind of get more familiar with it. On April 6th, these are the students I will be presenting then. If you scroll down, April 8th, these students will be presenting then. So you want to, you know, you want to keep your presentation, you know, def around 5 to 10 minutes. So you don't want to have like a, you know, 15, 20 minute, 30 minute presentation because we have other people. And what will happen is I will cut you off on that. And um, so... That night when you're presenting, we'll decide, okay, um, about how many minutes will everybody have. And just, uh, if you keep it in the 5 to 10 minute range, I haven't actually gone and, and divided the number of students yet into how many minutes we have. So that could possibly another, be another update so you'll know, okay, I have 8 minutes to do this. At the 7 minute time, Dr. Palmer's going to give me a minute warning. But we have to keep, you know, we have to keep it going and so everybody can get in. And so, but it's, that's a long time. You know, some students are done in a couple minutes, you know. But so five or ten minutes is a lot longer than it sounds. You can say a lot in five or ten minutes. Here's your research project poster presentation. This, these are the people that will be presenting on April the 22nd. These are the students who will be presenting on April the 27th. Your marketing plan group presentations that you have the option of doing either PowerPoint or Prezi. April 29th, groups 1, 3, and 5. And <clears throat> May 5th, groups 6, 7, and 8. So that's that. You know when you're going. If you come to class and you're not prepared, it's a zero. So it's not that I like to give out zeros, but there has to be some management in the course and effectiveness and efficiency and so that's just how I do things. I've learned that, you know, if I don't do it that way, I'll have students that are emailing me assignments, you know, from four months ago. And I'm trying, you know, and then I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is, what is this, you know? And it's just, it's ineffective for me as a professor. And so it's not that I want to give you a zero, but there are some, there are deadlines, there's due dates, and you're adults, and I'm expecting you to, to keep up with all that. Okay. Getting back, there's also exam one. I'm going to refer to it exam, as exam one. It's actually been moved to uh, March 21st. It will open at 5 a.m. on a Saturday and it will close at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, March the 22nd. The respond to slot down brow browser is required in order to initiate the exam. This serves as your official notice that that is when you will have an exam in this class. I wanted to give us the opportunity to have a study session, excuse me, in class. So that's why I've moved it back some. 
here's grading rubric information. So there shouldn't be any misunderstanding on what you will be graded on for the different presentations that you're going to be doing in this class. Um, this is a marketing class, so you should become very, uh, get more comfortable with uh, presentations, selling information, marketing yourself. I mean, these are things that you need to get more comfortable doing. And so the grading rubric for a group marketing plan presentation, these are the four elements that you'll be graded on here. For your individual research poster project, these are the four elements that you'll be graded on here. For your special topics, career and life goals, Prezi presentation, these are the four elements that you'll be graded on here. And you also have an opportunity to earn extra credit towards your final group marketing plan grade. But keep in mind that's individuals. So if you get an A on your career and life goals presentation, then that means you and you only are going to receive five extra credit points to your group marketing plan overall grade. It doesn't spread through all the group members. It depends on who, how everybody does in their own individual career and life goal presentation. Okay, let's look at assignment two. Let me exit out this. I don't know why that's not showing. I'm going to have to double check what's going on with that. Oh, it says opens. Um, okay, I, I know what's going on there. So, But I want to show you this. This is the special topics, career and life goals, Prezi presentation that you're going to do. You're going to discuss your career and life goals, include personal and professional goals, dreams and aspirations that you have. Use this Occupational Outlook Handbook. I've provided the link for you. Do a search for any career that you're interested in. And when you click on it, it's going to give you a lot of information about that career. It's going to tell you some quick facts, how much it pays, education required, how fast that position or openings are, are running, tells you about what they do, the work environment. So you have a lot of information that you could use just on this one page or website to develop your whole presentation. So there that is. But everybody needs to submit their Prezi presentations here through the assignment to link by April 5th at 11.59 p.m. So everybody has to be rip-roaring and ready to go by the 5th, but then we're going to have half the class presenting on the 6th and half the class presenting on the 8th. The reason I do that is to be fair to everybody and not have any group of students that have two or three extra days to work on something while the other half of you were not given you know, 72 hours or three days to work on something. So that is totally to be fair across the board to the whole entire class. Okay, if you look at the syllabus, I have made um, some revisions on pretty much the, just the class schedule because of moving the midterm. But essentially, you just see all the information there. So now we have our study session is going to be on March the 18th. You will take your, uh, well, it still says midterm exam, but I'm referring to it as exam one from here on out and for every other class. It's going to be exam one. And um, you'll, you'll be done with that. And then you'll have your spring break. But keep in mind, exam one covers chapters like one through nine. And so, you know, we're going to go ahead and continue on, you know what I mean, with the rest of the material. But when it comes time to take your exam on March 21st, I would definitely just refer back to the study guide. But we're going to continue on. And you see you have your special topics presentations, and then we have research project poster presentations, marketing plan. So what I would advise you is that at the, for moving forward, I would just, I would be working on all these presentations. That's really what all you have left to do. If you don't understand, you know, any of the instructions about them, because I've, I've laid it out on the assignment, in the assignments two section, 
and if you give me a second I'll I'll actually edit this I don't know why it's not open date is right now Let's see here open date is now we'll just say the 25th and then the due date is actually so you should be able to see this as soon as I correct that <laughs> excuse me so let's get back to let's do a student view so make sure that you can see it now okay let's look here yeah so now you see it the lab activity what makes an ad go viral that's that's already done and over with so what you have to work on don't get confused because you don't see marketing plan in here you're not going to and now I just remember that there is a written component to the marketing plan so let me go back in here just a second <laughs> oh my goodness let me exit all this go back to the grading rubric for a second presentation skills overall content I'm gonna put it here in written component so you do have a written component to that but don't get confused because you know you may want to look in your assignment 2 section and you're like oh, okay this is all I gotta do this is all that I have left to do in the semester no you have your your group marketing plan too, you know, so you're just not submitting anything through here for your group marketing plan. You're going to turn in your written analysis and you're going to do your group presentation, you know, in class. So all that's, you're going to do all that in class. So don't get confused about that. But if I were you, what I would be doing is I would just be working on knocking all this stuff out. That's what I would do. I wouldn't be wasting any time. I would just go and do it. This right here, this research assignment, the good thing is you're 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 making a poster now look here this looks like there needs to be some revision here on these dates right here 427 actually let me do that now so going back in here everybody needs to upload their template by the 26th April the 26th and remember we're just having two nights that we're going to be doing that okay so let's see here let me save that and really you should just be it should just be set to where you can only send an attachment but you may want to leave a comment or something too so but here on your poster project it's not going to cost a lot of money at all it's just it's going to take a little bit of you know work to get it all together but if you're unsure about this or unclear or you just need some more clarification or you just or if you're just totally lost on this you know come see me during my office hours see me before or after class um, and but I think it's gonna be better for you than writing like a research paper because I've given you a template giving you a template to use. Let's see if it opens. Why isn't that opening? Okay, this is an example, okay, of how you can, I want you to kind of have it done. You can come up, you want to have like a, like you would have like a references section or works cited or bibliography so where I have literature partial you know you would you would name that something else you would have an introduction and you can change all these blue headings you can change that I mean you probably this was a quantitative study and so I mean you can yours isn't gonna really 
I mean, you can report on any type of statistics if you want, but this is really more so like if you actually went out and, and did that. But so I'm just showing you an example of how it kind of is laid out. You have the title of your research. And remember uh, in the instructions, I said it's always better to like do a search for two different areas. Um, so I did like leadership power bases and employee satisfaction. So I, those were the two areas that I did. But you should have a template in here, or I think what I did is give you a link. If you go to this link that I've given you, you want to go, these are the poster templates. This is the one I like the best, and you want to do PowerPoint, or I recommend do PowerPoint. And so then when it downloads, you have these others you can do too, but the price I quoted you is really kind of for that one. Okay, hang on. I want it to, I believe it's that one, it's poster template, yes. You can delete this text box after reading, so we're going to try to delete that. You're going to have to delete it in order to build your poster. Sometimes it deletes real easy, and then sometimes you have to do like this craziness like that to get it to, to do right. So... I've had the hardest time getting this delete, but I know that some of you will be able to delete it. <laughs> um, it either deletes really well or it doesn't, but you want to try to get that deleted. And all you're going to do from there is you're just going to build your poster information. You know, you're going to put your title here, so you're going to exit out of all that. And you want to think of, think of like two things that you would like to research something that I want it to be marketing or business related so think of two things that you've learned so far in this class that you would like to get some further information on or that you know that we're going to be going over um, in the future I mean I've uploaded a lot of supplemental resources for you throughout this entire semester I mean those are good places to go back to and try to get some research ideas so, you know, if you want to go back to, you know, if you're like, hey, I really like, you know, understanding the consumer behavior, I really like that topic. And, oh, okay, well, there's some, you know, some information about that, ways to shape it, situational influences. And, you know, go to the library and then what, this is what I would recommend that you do. You go to the library click on articles and more click on databases and just go down to academic search complete you're gonna have to log in And then here, go to Choose Databases. See here. So I hope you're staying with me on this screencast. Click All. So let me just show you that again. You want to select All and click OK. And then think of something that you really want to research and get some more information on. So go back, go in here. Oh, it's not doing right. That swirly thing is not good. <laughs> But anyways, in this area right here, let's, all right, we'll try to come back to that for a second. Let's exit out of that. In this area right here, you want to put it in quotes. So just say you wanted to research, all right, we'll come back to that. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. Well, if it does it again, we're just going to move on, but... This is, you would put in quotes, just say, and then let's see, what could we get, and we'll just put the purchase decision process, we'll just throw them two together, and do you remember when we went over that, that was way back in chapter one? I recommend doing all text. You want to put it in parentheses. And then also you want to get 
what else see that's changed all text and you want to get kind of current information see if we can find dates or anything that we can change let me exit out of this no it's not exiting okay well this is scrolling way further than what it should be scrolling I've I've never seen it scroll like that but there should be an area where you can filter like the publication date um, you know just say you want something in from 2000 to or 2005 to 2015 so you want to look at articles within the past like 10 years so that was so you put in that filter and then and see they had another one but looks like that's kind of more like it from 2005 to 2015 so we'll just put it in there too and then do a search and see what we come up with we'll either come up with something or nothing that's just the way it is no results found so just keep playing with it just keep playing around with it with topics until you find an article and just pick an article that you like and you're just gonna kinda summarize it using that poster template that I just showed you okay well uh so I'm going to let y'all go for now, but I would be working on these presentations that you have coming up. Again, you have that special topics presentation. There are due dates that you have to submit in NECA for that. You have your research poster template. So you're going to save that PowerPoint template, and that's what you're going to email me or submit as an attachment through NECA. And then you have your marketing plan that you need to be working on. And you need to be studying, you know, for your upcoming, it's going to say midterm exam, well, exam one study guide. Yeah, exam one study guide. You want to be studying for this. So what it is, is that you're going to be asked, you want to know these, the learning objective information. So for chapter one, um, you could be asked learning objective two, three, or five. So you want to know these learning objective information, and the learning objectives are at the beginning of the chapter. Okay, well, have a great rest of your week, and I will see y'all later. Bye.